So the next question says, what is the value of x plus 2n minus r over y, where x is 5, y is 2x, n is x plus 9, and r is n plus 6. Okay, so we need to connote all the statement x is 5, okay, then y is 2x, which is 2 times 5, which is 10, okay, then uh, n is equal to x plus 9, which is equal to um, 5 plus 9, that's 14, and r is equal to n plus 6, which is um, 14 plus, because our n is now 14, 14 plus 6, that's 20, okay? So once you have all this, you cannot put it into the equation. So it says x plus 2n minus r all over y. So this is going to be our x is 5 plus 2 times n, n is 14 minus our r is 20 all divided by um, y which is 10. So this is going to be, this is going to be simplifying this, this is going to be 5 plus 2 times 14 is um, 28 minus 20 all over 10. So this is going to give us um, 5 plus 28 minus 20 is going to give us 8 over 10. So performing the LCM for this, we're going to have um, this will be 10. So 10 into divided by 1 is 10. 10 times 5 is 50. Plus 10 into 10 is 1. Um, times 8 will be 15. So this will give me 58 over 10. And converting this to a proper fraction, this will be 5 whole number will get 8 over 10. Now reducing 8 over 10 to um, simplest form is going to be 5, 4 over 5 because 2 can cancel. So this is our correct answer. So the correct answer here is D. So D is the correct answer. So um, that will take us to the next question which says um, okay, which one of the following expression is the simplified form of the equation listed above. So to simplify it, all we just have to do is expand. So 2 times 3x is going to give us um, 6x, plus 2 times y is going to give us 2y, plus 4x, all divided by 4 times x is 4x, plus 4 times 2y is going to give us um, 8y, so that will be plus 8y, and this will not be minus y. So um, going, what we need to what we need to do now is to collect like terms. So um, 6x plus 4x is going to give us um, 10x. This will be 10x plus 2y all over. Um, this is going to be 4x plus 8y minus y. It's going to give us plus 7y. So um. Looking at your options, D is our correct answer because um, we can't simplify 4x plus 7y any longer. So I think D is the correct answer in this question. So that will take us to question uh, 24. Now it says, Musa bought X banana and Maria bought four bananas more than Musa. So we will need to represent that. So Musa bought X banana. Maria bought four bananas more than Musa. That means Maria bought X plus four. Okay, in answer, Otieno bought twice as many bananas as both Musa and Maria. So Otieno bought twice both of them. So Otieno bought two times X and also bought two times X plus four. So he bought twice Musa and twice Maria. So if the total numbers of banana bought altogether was 30, so all we need to do is sum everything up. X plus X plus 4 plus 2 times X plus 2 times X plus 4 is going to give us um, 30. So the total banana bought was 30. Which one of the following equation can be used to find the number of bananas 
Musa bot. So let's add up our like terms. So this is going to be x plus x plus 4 plus 2x plus 2 times x is 2x plus 2 times 4 is going to give us 8 is equal to 30. So summing up all our x, x plus x is 2x plus 2x is 4x plus 2x is 6x. Then summing up our numbers, 4 plus 8 is 12 plus 12 is equal to 30. So this is the equation you can use to get for Musa. And our correct option here, it's um, B, A. A is actually the correct answer. So A is 6x plus 12. So taking a look to the next question, which says, um, what is the value of x in the equation? Okay, so if we are to find the value of x in this equation, now, all we need to do is um, multiply, if we have 3 over 5, 2x plus 2 minus 1 is equal to 5. So, the thing we need to do is multiply all through, all through by 5. Now, why are we multiplying all through by 5? So that we can eliminate the 5 here. So this is going to be 5 times 3 over 5. 3 over 5 into um, 2x plus 2 minus 5 times 1 is equal to 5 times 5. Okay, so what we just did is this 5 is multiplying here, this 5 is multiplying here, this 5 is multiplying here. So now 5 is multiplying everywhere, so the 5 here can cancel out. So we just have 3 into 2x plus 2 minus 5 times 1 here is 5 is equal to 5 times 5 will give us 25. So this is going to be, open the bracket, 3 times 2x will give us 6x plus 3 times 2 will be 6 minus 5 is equal to 25. Now, we need to collect our like terms, okay? This is going to be 6x plus 6 minus 5 is going to give us uh, plus 1, which is equal to 25. Collecting like terms, 6x is going to be 25. And plus 1 coming over is going to be minus 1. Therefore, from here, 6x is going to give us 25 minus 1 is 24. Therefore, our x is going to be 24 over 6, which is going to give us um, 4. So, our final answer is 4. So, the correct answer here is C. Now, if you want to be sure about that, you can put your 4 here to test your equation. 2 times 4, you have 2 times 4, you're going to get 8. 8 plus 2 is 10. 5 cancel 10, we have 2. 3 times 2 is 6. 6 minus 1 gives you 5. So, that tells us that the equation is correct. So that takes us to question um, 26. Okay, now question 26 says, in the figure below, construct a perpendicular bisector of line PR. Let the line intersect PR at T and meet line QS at H. Now, this is a construction question and you need to do it on your past question. Now, I'm just going to give you a clue on how to achieve it. Now, all you need to do is... Um, it says, construct a perpendicular bisector of line PR. Now, remember, when you want to bisect a line, you place your, your um, compass here, the tip of your compass, you cut across. You place your compass here, and you cut across. Now, you have bisected the line. You draw a straight line. So, all you do is place the tip of your compass here, then cut across this line, then place the tip of your compass here also, then you cut across this line, okay? So, now, this is the bisector of PR. There is a let the line PR at T meet QS at H. So, you're going to draw a line that will pass through PR and meet QS. So, this, is, this point is called T. So, um, at this point, now, the point where it meets QS is called H. So, it says, what is the measure of the line? HT. So use your straight uh, your ruler to measure line HT. Whatever you get, it's your final answer. Okay, so we're we'll going over to question um, 27. Okay, so question 27 says in the figure below, line QP is parallel to line RS and line QS is equal to line SR. 
I'm going to go QSP is 32 degree. So the question says, what is the size of angle PQR? So angle PQR, we're looking for this angle. Okay. So um, the first thing we need to note is this line, it's same with this. Like they are equal. Then also notice line PS is also equal to this. So that means angle Angle PQS is isosceles triangle. And you know the characteristics of isosceles triangle? When you have isosceles triangle, this side is equal to this. That means this angle, if it's X, this place will also be X. So that means, let's call here, let's call here our angle X, and let's call here X. So that means X plus X plus 32, is going to give us a 180 degree. Reason is some angles of a triangle. Okay, and remember it's an isosceles triangle. So this is going to be 2x plus 32 is equal to 180 degree. Collecting like terms, 2x is equal to 180 minus 32. 2x will be um, 180 minus 32 is going to give us um, 10 minus 2 is 8. 7 minus 3 will be 4, 114. So x will be 148 divided by 2 and this will give us 74 degrees okay now notice something look at this angle here x is 74 notice this is a straight line and this is also a straight line so if you know um about alternate angles these two lines are parallel to each other so the angle here if it's x, it's also equal to the angle here as x. So that means here will also be x. Reason it, uh, angle P, Q, S is equal to angle Q, S, R, which is equal to um, that, 74 degree. Reason being that uh, they are alternate angles alternate angles okay so they are alternate angles so they are equal so if you now know that here is um this place is 74 degree so that means let's call here y and let's call here y so we do the same thing y plus y plus 74 will give us 180 this will be 2y will be 180 minus 74 2y is going to be 180 minus 74 is going to give us um, 10 minus 4 will be 6. So um, here we remain 7. That's 106. Therefore, y will be 106 over 2. And this will give us a 53 degree. That means this place is 53 and this place is 74. So to get our final answer, we say x plus y, which will give us angle um, angle P Q R is equal to X plus Y. So this will be fifth. Uh, it will be seventy four plus fifty three. So four plus three is going to give us seven. Seven plus five is going to give us one twenty seven degree. Okay. So the final answer is one twenty seven degree. So let's check that. I think that's option um, option D is the correct answer so that will take us to um question now uh, 28 okay no. so question 28 says the figure below is part of a parallelogram efgh complete the parallelogram now this is like a construction question and you know your parallelogram this is what your parallelogram looks like it's always like this so this is how your parallelogram looks so all you need to do in this question is um you need to measure um you need to measure the distance between here e and f once you get that also measure the distance between g measure the same distance and it should get you to somewhere around here so once you get that draw a straight line that will join these splits exactly then you complete it so when you do that 
Then he said, what is the length of half of the longer diagonal? Now, this is the longer diagonal. These are the two diagonals. This is the shorter one. Why? This is the longer one. So all you need to do is measure half of this, measure the length, and divide it by 2. So assuming the total length gives you x, then you say the um, half of it will be x over 2, and that will give you your final answer. So you will need to perform this on your own. So please click on the subscribe button so that you can get updated videos from us. Thank you and stay tuned with us.